Hey everyone, I'm live from beautiful South Florida. I know some of you guys are in some horrible winter weather, uh, <laughs> but we're not. Um, hopefully I'm going to get in toward the barn. The cell signal isn't great, I may lose you, but I just want to turn around. And there's Melissa. Hey, there she is. And the back of the person facing us, the, that person there, that's Chelsea. She's from Iowa. She's a vet student. She's with us for two weeks, part of a um, externship program from her school. She's learned about equine dentistry. And today's her first day. Uh, it was supposed to be her second, but she got snowed in. Huh, sorry, guys. Melissa's finishing up this horse. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit on her and what she's doing. And there's Chelsea getting her experience on how we work with horses here. So, um, you guys got anything to say? Hi guys, welcome to the New Year. Hey. <laughs> Chelsea's a woman of few words, I gotta admit. But anyway, we're having a great time. Uh, we saw some really cool things, mostly behavioral issues. We had one horse that uh, the owner said to us, there's no way you're gonna work with us on this horse without drugs. Don't even try, this horse is, uh, it gets schnockered all the time. And, and the problem with that, I'm gonna walk out here where the signal's a little bit better. The problem with that is, um, we didn't get to know the horse. And I asked her permission to, uh, for us to at least try to work with this horse. Um, and the horse is like all over me just saying, oh my gosh, where have you been? He's a super intelligent horse, uh, got it, loved the connection he's making with us. And we were able to not only get in there and examine the horse's mouth, but to float its mouth completely. And the horse is just completely giving. And the, the whole point was, because we approach horses with horsemanship skills, and we try to make a connection first, they are much more willing to have the work done. And she said the last dentist, they had to drug and had a second dose ready, and this is really common. I'm not saying that we're any better, that's not it. It's just our approach is different, where we try to build relationships first, and through that relationship, we're able to do things that almost anybody can do once they learn how to build relationships. That's what uh, Chelsea's here for. She's learning how to build relationships through horsemanship skills, and learn how to float horses' teeth uh, without having to automatically drug or jack the mouth open or immobilize. This is what we do, this is what we're uh, famous for, this is what we go around the country for. Anyway, um, oh, this is cool, watch this. Let's see if I can get Chelsea in here. She is actually sticking her hand in the horse's mouth. This is like her fourth horse she's ever done. And it's not the easiest horse, but she's learning how to stick her hand in And we teach all the nuances, like intimacy, getting that hand together, bringing the horse through your core. And obviously this horse is like, ah, oh, rookie. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, you have to learn, start someplace. <laughs> We're gonna try one more time. Maybe the horse is camera shy. Oh well, she's done really well for all the other horses today, and this is the last horse of the day, so I think everyone's just a little bit tired, and we'll be back tomorrow and the next day, every day that we're working with horses. Talk to you later, bye.